I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a problem on osmotic pressure. Hi, let's go over a question that you're going to see on the down involving osmotic pressure, which represents the pressure needed to hold back osmosis. When we deal with osmotic pressure, never forget, we always are going to have the flow go from the dilute side where the solvent is to the concentrated. So we're going from the dilute side to the concentrated side. Come on around and let's have a quick look. I say to you, we have a dilute solution containing 116 milligrams of glucose in a one liter solution. And it is placed in a semi-permeable membrane bladder, which is then suspended by a support in water. And what I wanna do is to find the osmotic pressure at 26 degrees Celsius that develops. As you can see here, we have our semi-permeable membrane and the flow always goes from the dilute side, which is the water side, the solvent side, and it dilutes out to sugar. So the flow would be from right to left in this case. The first thing we're gonna do is write down the formula for osmotic pressure. Pi is gonna be the symbol for osmotic pressure. M is for molarity, which is the moles per liter. R is the OA21 constant, which they'll give you. T is the temperature in Kelvin. And I is the Van Toff factor, which represents the number of particles that can theoretically dissociate. Let's go off to the side and do our work. C6H1206 is the molecular formula for glucose, and it does not break up. So this is a non-electrolyte, so I was equal to 1. Well, that's easy enough. I'm going to then take 116 milligrams. 1 gram is 1,000 grams, which crosses out milligrams. And one mole of sugar, which you look up the weight, is 180. Grams cancel out, so you're left in moles. Don't worry about the numbers being nice here. On the dot, the numbers will work wonderfully, and they'll also be very nice in the destroyer. All I want you to understand is to understand the chemistry. If you need to do this with a calculator, be my guest. When you divide 116 over 1,000 over 180, you get 6.44 to the minus fourth moles. So the molarity would be the moles over the liters. We saw that it's one liter, and that gives me 6.44 to the minus four molar. I then convert Celsius into Kelvin by adding it to 273, and that would give me 299. If that was the actual data, I would use 300. So now we're gonna plug up numbers back in. Pi, which is the osmotic pressure, is the molarity, which we found. There's the R. There's the T, I was equal to 1. Multiplying together gives me a value of 0158 atmospheres. The answer is in atmospheres because that's the unit of the gas constant that we need. I hope this gave you a good idea. I got some very, very exotic and elegant problems in the destroyer that I want you to make sure you go over on osmotic pressure. But this should give you a nice idea of what you'll see in the debt. All right, that'll do it for this clip. Bye-bye.